All right, good luck. All right, let's play. Um, so, okay, this is 10 minute and 60 second Biryami. Here they express in the chat window. I haven't played for a long time. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this goes. Should be fun. Um, This is an interesting move order. Um, I mean, I'm still going to play Opposing Rook. I don't care. Previously I used to do Fourth File Rook a lot. And I'm just trying this now to get more experience with this. Then we can make a decision later on which uh, I like more. Once we've collected enough data. So I see they've built a boat. Is the king going that way? I assume eventually. I don't know, man. Yeah, this is an interesting formation, because we both committed where our kings are going, and the rooks are on the other side. Hmm. I'm kind of waiting for him to decide which pawns he's going to move. So, there's only so many moves he can make without doing a pawn move. Ah, what's the comment now, I wonder? Oh, disconnected. Wow. All right, so after 60 seconds, I can... Oh, wait, his keyboard always pops up. Ooh, that's not pleasant. Welcome back. Okay, cool. Hopefully this works better. He must be playing on a mobile device where the keyboard keeps popping up and perhaps affecting his ability to enter moves. Um... So I see he's questioning whether I'm going to dive into the corner with Anaguma or perhaps Dumino. Ah, problem with the tablet. I see. Yeah, that would do it. Okay. That's a move. I can't attack before, like, I've built a castle, so we have to build a castle. But, yeah, this is an interesting situation. Oh 
boy. All right, so now I have to do this. Um, because otherwise I've trapped my bishop through quite a few clumsy moves on my part. Um, Finally, this move gets played once I've brought my silver up. Um, hmm. <laughs> I think I just want to continue my castle. the base of the castle's moving. <laughs> it's a moving castle. Um, well, I built my castle. I could expand it or I could try and attack. How much do I like attacking? Way too much. Um, I'm not ready to attack. It would be better that I expand my castle. Now, usually I'm supposed to delay that move, but circumstances here are that I've got time to make moves. So we're going to make moves. We are making so many moves. Look at all the moves we make. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, okay. We need to mildly panic. Um, 
Um, I forgot that was a thing. Okay, well. What to do now? Yep, this is pretty unusual on my part. Um. So I did briefly consider like continuing to climb up the board with my silver and that just looks like nonsense. So we're doing this instead. Maybe this is bad. Hmm. Probably this this is starting to look bad too. Although the obvious move, I think I'm okay against. Um, yeah, this one I might not be so great against, because now the silver drop is actually kind of rough. Um, On the bright side, uh, I can almost defend my bishop's head. Wow, I considered Nifu here several times. It gets better each time I consider it. Um, Well, I guess this is the only way to defend my bishop from the front. It's so weird. So strange. Because this seems to guarantee material loss on my part, doesn't it? Well... It's not quite so simple. Um, a lot of tactics in Shogi are complicated. But yeah, forgetting about the head of my bishop is a big mistake. So. Oh, and I forgot. Like, he has this other approach, too. Um. That's another way to approach my bishop. <sighs> well, this is not going well. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. So my thought with placing the silver here is, well, even if 
somehow I failed. Um, my silver could still attack something. Um, strictly speaking, that's true. Yikes. Um, oh wait, he can't pawn drop me here. So yeah, I still can attack things. So part of what motivates that move is so I don't get my bishop and silver forked by a promoted silver. Um, ah, yes, this makes sense. Trapping my bishop. It's not my greatest attack ever, but it's something. Okay, we're going to get my rook out of harm's way. And find an attack elsewhere. I don't know that it was necessary to trade this promoted silver. Like, yes, that is a bit distant from my king, but, um,. I'm not sure that even promoting your bishop is necessarily your best play here. I mean, you have good place, but I'm just not sure. Like, I think you might have had better than this. This way, at least I get something. Um, Yeah, it's a hard decision here, I think. Yeah. 
it. I'm still not sure which move would have been better. Um, so. I have a decision. Do I just say sayonara to my lance, or do I make some attempt to protect it? No, we're going to just leave the lance to be. Take this file. There's no saving it. If I try to save it, then this pawn promotes right on the head of my rook. So, this is just how things are. Interesting. I'm going to try to hold this point. There's too much to read. There's always too much to read. This is such a hard decision. Oh, that. Well. Okay. Sanjuvio. 
30秒40秒I'm not completely confident in this move. I did give uh, this move without promotion a brief consideration. It doesn't seem good. Um. I also considered dropping at the base of my promoted silver, but I don't think I don't think that holds because he can just drop a pawn at the head, and like that way I'm guaranteed to lose a piece. This way, if I lose a piece, it's on my terms, and my terms are that I get to promote something. Um, But yeah, more importantly, this bishop is quite interesting to me. So either I want the bishop, or I want it off this diagonal. I want it away from my king. Okay, so it's off that diagonal. Somehow this seems lucky. Just this combination of promoted silver and knight seem to force play in a way that other pieces could not. So this seems like a good square for the knight. Interesting. 
I wasn't sure how long I was going to keep the silver here anyway. Wow, I hate to retreat. I hate to retreat, but it seems like the reasonable play here. So yeah, when I put the knight down, this was eventually my plan for the knight. Um, so that it could help support an attack. Okay, we've got another promotion. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure the promotion helps me that much, to be honest. Um,
is so nutty. So, <laughs> um, we've peeled away the outer wall of that castle. Again, the, the rules of this game seem to get in the way of me using my pieces somehow. Um, Probably could have climbed my gold. Didn't think enough about it. Um, Okay. Interesting. should have anticipated this, but still. Yeah, that's clever. Oh. Uh, does my rook potentially have a shortage of liberty? Maybe so.
30秒40秒50秒30秒30秒40秒50秒Maybe I panicked. Thirty-five. 30秒。Now this looks strange, doesn't it? But I have an idea.
30秒I missed a far easier idea. Okay, we're gonna just go here, and stuff is gonna get really messy. <sighs> Perhaps last turn I should have done this directly. Um, yeah, this knight drop. I was thinking I could just move my silver along and then start trading stuff, but. It doesn't help me. So I have to swallow my pride and play this instead. Um, I'm confused. Oh, clever. Okay, I see it now. That is one heck of a unique move on my part. found it after looking at everywhere else I could put the bishop <laughs> and re recognizing that like well this of all the options this looks the most reasonable
30秒40秒三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四。Tricky game. Tricky, tricky game. I've been holding off on that for several moves now, but perhaps now I have a better feeling about it. I don't think feelings are going to conduct an attack, though. It takes actual reading, which I'm not doing enough of. At some point I've just got way too tense in this game and I just want to start playing <laughs> and enjoying it. So that's why I'm blitzing out moves. It's not because I know what's going to happen, but I have some ideas.
Well, that's been a long time coming. Finally, I managed my way over to this file. And either I'm dead or I'm not. But sitting around thinking isn't going to change it. Thank In my mind, this was the easier thing to read out. Oh, I forgot. The king could actually dash through the center of the board here. That's complicated. Um. Welcome to phase two of the game. Figuring out like what the result is. <laughs> oh God. Um.
30秒40秒50秒12秒12秒 1, 2, 3 Oh! Yeah, okay, that works.、Uh, good game. Yeah, forgot about that, but it doesn't matter at this point.、Um, I wonder just how long I've been mated for.、Um, yeah, that's,、uh, that's something.、Um, yeah, I can't feel too bad about that because I was pretty sure that I didn't have a win there for much of this. Yeah, that was super messy. That is so true. But yeah, at this point, like, even if I move my king over, I made it anyway.、Um, it looked there like I almost had a chance. I'm sure if you run it through an engine, there might be something, but. Gosh, that was messy.、Um, so. Let's see, how did this start? Okay, we have another comment. Let's resize the board. Ah. Yeah. That's okay. Um. Yeah. I know it's supposed to be, like, it is disrespectful. I'm not. didn't intentionally play it, but, um. I mean, in that position, like, I'm lost anyway. Um. So I can't feel too bad about it. It. Yeah, so I forgot about this head of my bishop thing.、Um, so probably here I just need to take th there. And、um, we have a different game.、Uh, granted, I'm probably still worse here, but.、Um, yeah. So at least next time I won't. Lose my bishop so early.、Um, what an adventure. But yeah, I don't really know that we. We could try to analyze it.、Um, this、uh, game was complex. Maybe best to leave analysis. To the engines for this one. Because、uh, <laughs> it got super messy. Yeah, no. Like, that's my MO in chess, is to go into murky, murky, murky waters and then hope that I get lucky.、Um, and Shogi, there's a bit more strategy to it. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, it must be late there.、Uh, do you want to analyze? Because I'm perfectly content、uh, not analyzing right now. <laughs>、um, uh, just as I would be content one way or the other if we'd played this game at a different hour or something.、Um, Well, actually, it must be like 7 30 or 8 30 or something there. It can't be too late. Somehow, usually I'm on in the US afternoon and it's like super, super ultra late for folks in Europe. But right now, this is actually during hours when people would normally be awake, so I can't feel too guilty.、Um, I mean, the engine would roast both of us anyway.
I know Shogi Harper recommends. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, if they want to analyze. Ah, uh... <laughs> uh, this works for me. Yeah, I am more than glad to analyze on a board that I'm able to look at. Uh, this certainly works for me. So, yeah, my rook belonged on the third rank, not on the fourth rank. Um, after I moved it. Yeah, there's a thought. So, based on this newfound understanding... Well, I'm sorry, based on what happened in the game... Um, yeah, uh, the head of my third rank collapsed, and there really wasn't much to look at there. Um, but, um, and once the collapsed, it really felt like my rook belonged there instead. Um, but yeah, we're saying that, like, once I shifted it again, um, yeah. Possibly I had a better chance of breaking on that file. One second, I'll be right back. That's better. I have to refill my water again. All right. So, um, I also think some of my promotions of the game seemed unnecessary for what happened. Yeah, I don't really have a good sense of how to use promoted pieces yet. Um, and they didn't coordinate well with my attack. Um, Why did I play pawn 3-6? So we're talking about this pawn move. So, yeah, the idea is I eventually want to transition to this castle. Um, and I guess I made a move ordering mistake. Uh, but also I wanted to keep this silver away. Um, why not rook 7-8 or silver 5-6? Yeah, so rook 7, 8. I think that makes sense. Silver 5, 6 um, probably leads to the same complications we had in the game where this just collapses. Um, wait, no, maybe it prevents that. Maybe if they don't get a pawn in hand, somehow this works better. Uh, oh, you meant rook 6, 8. Um... Yeah, that's playable. Um, C 
see, I'm thinking that my opponent, like if I play this, my opponent's just going to challenge me on this file instead. I don't think it really gains me anything to do that. And potentially there might be some tactic on this left side where these pawns break through. Um, yeah, so your comment is that the sacrifice here seemed unnecessary. Um, I mean, what else is there? Like, once this is played... Um, I can't just move my silver back like this. I think at this point it's I've messed up. So I think I made it as complicated as possible and it was pretty complicated. Um, But yeah, okay, to your earlier question, isn't this just a standard high mino? Yes. Um, so I was considering, do I want to build this, and then do I want to expand it with the knight? Not like that. But yeah, do I want all this done? And then I thought about leaving these generals where they are and just pushing the knight up, and then having the generals follow. Um because there seems to be a threat of rooks being exchanged, and if rooks are exchanged, I want a gold on my back rank. So that was what I was thinking when I pushed 3-6. Um, so, um, but yeah, at this point, I... I'm not sure like what else I consider. I did briefly think about this and something like this and this didn't look good. Um, so yeah, I think I just blundered uh, and had to try to make things complicated. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what more they're... So, like, this get, did get super complicated. I don't really know what or where or when and why, like, things happened. But a lot of stuff happened here. Um, maybe this is the way to go. And, like, I still can't defend my weak point very easily. Um... This is kind of interesting. Uh, well, I guess I have this threat. I tend to ignore threats until it's too late, in case people haven't noticed. Um, so yeah, this would be called ignoring a threat until it's too late. Alright, so that's why we take here. Um, yeah, no, you're exactly right. So, yeah, that's... you have to defend. And I got confused. This is a confusing position. So, uh, yeah, the silver drop is still a threat, so I have to do something, but... Like, so there's several silver drop threats here. And I saw a way to stop two of them, but... Since I didn't even see the third threat, maybe there was something better. I don't know. Engines could tell us all the various ways that I'm defeated here. <laughs> Just emotionally. Yeah, this, um, oh, well, that surprised me. Um, it probably makes sense somehow, I just didn't understand it. Maybe the idea is to get this bishop 
out to hit the silver that's kind of trapped. Or the idea is to like stop me from doing this. Or it could be all of the above. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just in a difficult situation trying to find a way out. Okay, yeah, so you're trying to fortify this diagonal that's weak. That makes sense. Oh, and I was considering putting the bishop there. That's right. So yeah, you have to protect against these kinds of moves. So you do. And I play a random pawn drop because I don't... I mean, it looks okay, it's just very slow. But what can I do? Um... So it surprised me here, like, yeah, taking the bishop's good. Um, maybe better is just promoting. F bishop five, well, okay, so you need, like, silver seven six promote, stop that. So... So my threat, silver, seven, six, promote. You feel stop this? I don't know. Bishop, five, five, then pawn, five, four. See, I was reading this. I thought maybe this could be playable. Why not just uh, knight, three, seven, instead of the pawn drop? Okay, so yeah, back to the game. When I did the pawn drop, why not knight 3-7? Uh, you tell me. Oh, this knight. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's logical. It's flexible. Um... Yeah, just continuing with my original idea. Yeah, yeah, I've lost some games that way. It's quite memorable once you lose enough that way. Um... need to keep developing your pieces. Yeah. Especially if I'm going to be losing material. I have to develop some sort of attack, but this is pretty nice. Uh, granted, the silver retreat back here can probably deal with most of the damage, but still. It's nice to have something. Pushing the rook pawn was better for you, because the bishop doesn't run away. Oh, okay. So we're talking like here, this rook pawn push, or... I'm sorry, no, the rook pawn is not the edge pawn. In chess parlance, we always call, yeah, that the uh, rook pawn. But here, you're actually talking about the real rook pawn. Um, yeah, so yeah, I agree, the bishop's not going anywhere. Even if the bishop were going somewhere, this is a really strong threat, and then that. Like, what could the bishop possibly do? Yeah. My mistake. No, you're completely right, that is the rook pawn. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Sometimes. Um. But yeah, you're right. So... Yeah, for some reason, I've been thinking um, there were other ways to do this, but I completely missed that pawn advance here, which is just crushing. Uh, so, yeah, that marks the culmination of the attack. I'm not really sure what else to say about the rest of this. Like, it was super complicated. There's tons of variations. I wanted to go this way, but then I'm like, well, he just pawn drops right there, and that's no fun. 
Yeah, this is complicated. A lot of my promotions were confusing. Um, it would be nice if I didn't have this pawn back here. I could start promoting over there instead. Um, yeah. I don't know. You should... I guess my advice is watch more pro games. Um, because, like, if you can emulate their attacks, that can be quite good. Uh, yeah, I think I messed up. So many times. But I'm already pretty badly off here. Yeah, collecting material is so nice. Did I have some other idea somewhere around here? Oh no, I've already placed my silver down, didn't I? Yeah, I don't know. In hindsight, well... So, yeah, no, this is attacked. Um, so, one idea might have been to do this. But this doesn't look any good for me. Um, because that's a fork. And since I'm already down material, um, even though I could maybe win this, like my attack is completely stopped. So, yeah, whatever. The rest is probably best left to the engines. Except for, like, the illegal pawn drop, yeah, it's accidentally disrespectful. Um, the only reason I played it is because, um, obviously I'm mated if I move my king. And so I forgot that there's such a thing as an illegal pawn drop in Shogi. I'm like, well, uh, if my only other move immediately loses the game... How could a pawn drop possibly be worse? Well, it loses even faster. So, um, move 137. So you're back up, there's 136. So I played gold 4 5, trying to prevent the king from escaping. Um, Because I saw this. Oh. Oops. Oopsie doopsies. Jeez. Um, okay. So the question of did I have better falls to this position then? Um, so perpetual check is illegal in Shogi. So I have to find mate here. Um, thankfully, I think I have it. Um, I mean, surely this has to mate, right? No, we get the same combination that happened in the game. Um, wait, so gold 2-2, two, two, we say. The gold 2-2 two, two seemed weird. I mean, what else do I do? me this seems unclear I know like in general this never works but maybe this is the move
I don't know. Like, maybe I have to take the knight. And I made it here. It's probably best to just stick this into an engine and try to find what was missed. But I have already one game in my GUI that I intend to run through the engine first, so I might come back to this at a later time. Yeah, perhaps I have a move to try to make something happen. It's not easy. Uh, but yeah, I imagine the king going out through the center and just missed yeah, a lot. Yeah, well, again, like this entire end game was confusing and a bit messy. Um, I mean, I finally got that in. And so, like, there's so much to figure out here. Um, so one thing to understand is, so like, this rook could protect this pawn up here, but maybe there's this sack, but maybe I can block. So like, there's a lot going on. Um, Yeah, again, it just makes sense to run this through an engine to try to figure out what was missed. Uh, you also missed the gold drop. Let's see, where was that? Oh yeah, the one I actually played. Um, uh, it didn't work. <laughs> it makes sense that you'd miss something if it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, maybe you're talking about this gold drop. Um, on 5-6, okay, yeah, wait. Um, yeah, I think there must have been quite a few chances for that here. Oh, I'm sorry, no, you're saying, like, with the king running out. Yeah, we both missed this gold drop. Yeah, I don't know how. Like... It just looked too beautiful that the king be able to escape that I couldn't recognize it. Yeah, no, I see now. But yeah, what a wild game. Um, yeah, what an exciting welcome back to Shogi, if you haven't played in a while. You don't get this every game. Um, unless you're playing against me, and you get it, like, every time. Uh, I don't know what, how else to divide this. Like, a lot of my promotions didn't make sense. My drop there was, like, too ambitious. Somehow I thought this was okay. It's not. Um, but since that's not okay, like, my entire attack is not okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so... This in turn meant that, like, my knight takes silver was probably not great. Um, but I don't have ways to continue attacking if I don't, like, start moving some of these pieces around. Um, so, yeah. I, during the game, I wondered if this pawn promotion idea was too slow. And now we know that the answer is yes. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of chances. Also, like, I should practice more Sume, more end games. They're good puzzles. But yeah, that was a really instructive uh, beat down in the opening here. Because, um, again, I forgot about, well, relative to me, it's my 3-4 point, but on the board it's 7-6. I always forget about this damn thing. Although, in fairness to me, I've never seen this exact position. It's always something slightly different each time. So, eventually I'll run into every variation of this and be prepared for it. Yeah, thanks for the game. This is a good game.